Things not great as far as uh, injury news coming out of Berea. The Browns rule out center Ethan Posick with a stinger, safety Juan Thornhill with a calf, Agbo Okinronkwo, his, uh, his pectoral muscle, and Jordan Kanasik with his calf. Additionally, Denzel Ward shoulder Jordan Elliott and Anthony Walker, who tweaked his knee in practice today, are all listed as questionable for the game Sunday against the Bears. Head coach Kevin Stefanski talked about being down now his three top safeties with Delpit, Thornhill, and McLeod all out. Yeah, there's some guys that we trust back there, Mary Kay, that have, have given us good reps. Uh, there's some, you know, we have different options and combinations that we can work through. Uh, but bottom line is that's why these guys work so hard throughout training camp, throughout the season, uh, to stay ready because you never know when your number's going to be called. We are, yeah. No final confirmation just yet. How has Denzel progressed? Yeah, I think he continues to progress. Uh, every single day, I think he's getting better. Uh, we'll use the next 48 hours to see whether he can make it. If he was uh, added as a questionable, what, uh, would something come up? Yeah, right? something came up, tweaked something, but we'll see how he does over the next again. But we'll see how it goes. Let's welcome in. Jeff Lloyd from the Lockdown Browns podcast. And, Jeff, so uh, if you're keeping score at home, you're on your fourth and fifth <laughs> tackles and your fourth and fifth safeties. Um, there's not much you can do. You go out and you play and you, you make it as ugly as you can and you try to find a way to win. Well, I mean, when we talk about the Browns' fourth and fifth tackles, this is going to be Jerron Christian's sixth start for this team. So it's not like, you know, I mean, look, we're not saying, you know, trying to claim that he's somebody who's going to be, you know, your left tackle of the future here, um, but had a former relationship with Bill Callahan. This is now his sixth start for the Browns. So, I mean, I, I think you're going to get a good aversion of him as you possibly can. Hudson, you know, he's obviously started a lot of ball games. Um, it is interesting that the Browns had such a great three safety look and it was something they were using a lot. And unfortunately, now you have none of those guys. But there was a lot of mispractice time um, and certainly a lot of mispractice time for Juan Thornhill over the last two to three weeks. Uh, so it's not like Ronnie Hickman hasn't gotten practice reps and you had a nice PBU last Sunday, of course, against the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's not very, you know, th again, with the Joe Flacco thing, like we talk about with him coming in as your fourth quarterback, um, when you got to bring a practice squad safety up, you know, we normally talk about, you know, a 22 year old kid from, you know, East Valley Passaic Tech. Uh, not a three-time Super Bowl champion in Deron Harmon, who's been in, you know, obviously a countless, countless amounts of large football games in his life. He's not going to walk into a Week 15 matchup, you know, where the, you know, the stage is going to be too big for him. So as much as it hurts, obviously, the amount of guys that you're losing, Andrew Barry and company have done a fantastic job of, you know, the reinforcements they've brought in here. Um, it's very rare that you get name value reinforcements that start coming up to the roster week 15 in injury scenarios for teams. But, of course, the Browns being 8-5 and five with all the injuries and all the changes they've had to this point is really just, you know, it's probably a story within of itself because there's never really been a team that's gone through this stuff. Um, but, look, this team – all year long. And, you know, when you're not good, when you're not successful, this, you know, win the week, just get to one and know, you know, it, it, it does come off as kind of corny. Um, but for the Browns, look, it's working. It truly is working because this is how it's kind of getting them through these muddy waters. I think they kind of look around Sunday 9 a.m. and say, all right, well, this is the 48 we got. All right, boys, let's go out there and do what we got to do. Yeah, along those lines, Joe Flacco will start his third game. That will equal the amount of games a quarterback has started consecutively uh, for the Browns this season.